Programmat Video Tutorial, Chapter 5, Introduction to the Programmat Infrared Technology. The Programmat Infrared Technology can reduce the firing time by up to 25% compared with the firing time of a conventional ceramic furnace. The high quality of the firing results provides convincing proof of the technology's effectiveness. The integrated thermographic camera is sensitive to infrared radiation and measures the temperature directly at the surface of the objects being fired. The software uses the data it receives from the sensor to determine the optimal pre-drying and closing parameters, independent of the size and the number of restorations placed in the firing chamber. The sensor also uses the temperature data measured on the object being fired to determine when the drying process is complete and the firing process can begin. With the infrared technology active, the software transmits an image of the object in the firing chamber to the display during the drying and closing process. The IRT key enables you to switch between the thermographic image and the firing curve display. Only use the programmat firing trays recommended by Ivoclar for the respective material. Unused firing pins or fan pins should be removed from the firing tray if possible. Position the objects in such a way that the infrared camera has a wide view of the objects. Use the markings on the frame plate as a reference. Do not load the firing chamber with objects that have already been warmed up. The objects to be dried should be more or less at room temperature. The firing tray or objects must not be moved once the firing program has started to avoid faulty measurements. The infrared technology is not suitable for measuring the temperature on metal frameworks. Metal frameworks that have been veneered with opaque or ceramic must be placed in such a way that the metal margin or holding pin is not caught by the camera. If you want to fire several objects together, position the firing tray in such a way that the camera can measure the temperature on the large and bulky objects in particular. Likewise, position wet restorations in such a way that the camera can easily catch them. For further detailed information, please refer to the operating instructions.